All right, welcome to Vintage Cube on Magic Online. One of the best formats that's ever existed on planet Earth. <clears throat> and there's a bunch of spicy gems in this in this pack arena. We can go with, right. we can go with the five droppers. We can go with the three droppers. We can go with this underground sea, which is a pretty solid. That's a spicy meat. How do we not take we got to take recurring nightmare, right? Do that lions are down if you want to try storm. I never want to try storm. But when we do, we normally win. Um, if you get the deck, you I think I think it turns out well. There's also a high tide though. Nightmare's a pretty good build around. Would I be opposed to a visit the weekend of rivals pre-release? Um, no, definitely not. I think that's a cool idea. What did you say? Curry nightmare is a good build around. Yeah, I know, bro. I think it's I like recurring nightmare here. I'm I'm real I'm real worried about the uh everyone being like, Hey, you didn't force storm, but I don't care, I'm just gonna take the recurring nightmare. I'll recur all the night night marinos. Old Snapperuski. Snappy. I Dappy. think this is the best card, but then there's like this could have been good. Look at this storm card that comes. Yeah. Um, I like Snapcaster a lot. Snappy's pretty good. I also like Path to Exile. I had some broccoli peanut salad earlier, and I still have pieces of broccoli in my teeth. I probably should have brushed my teeth. I have, I have teeth brushing, lack of teeth brushing regret. Is that a thing? It is now. Someone is oddly visible today. I wonder who. I'm gonna. What do you think? Just Snapcaster? Yeah, I would take that. Oh, old creeper. Oh, look at this. Look, look what they're saying. Black green, blue green, black blue. Wow. It's like they're basically telling us to play Sultai. And there's a Mole Drifter. Yeah, and it talks with Deluge. I'm gonna hope one of these three lands comes back. We're gonna go try to go Sultai, and I'm gonna take this Mole Drifter. Because, good lord, we have Factor Fiction. We don't have Factor Fiction. I mean, recurring nightmare. <laughs> factor Fiction's here. If Deluge, Factor, or any of these three come back, I'll even take a Den Protector. But I don't like Den Protector because it actually doesn't work with Recurring Nightmare the same way Eternal Witness does. I don't think I'd ever take Factor Fiction over a Mold Drifter when I have a Recurring Nightmare. Although I did have a Snapcaster, so... Could have had double factor fiction. I don't know. Maybe that's and good. Blade steals in this. That's mean. I like a baleful strix here. Uh, yeah. There's and, nothing and a recurring else nightmare. Too great here. It does work with recurring nightmare. Yeah, I'm checking. That's that's a pretty easy pick, I think. I like vampire nighthawk. If vampire nighthawk tables. I will actually be grateful. Vampire vampire nighthawk is surprisingly good. I think. Twenty first centuries yesterday. Now the song's stuck in my head. Remember this song from the car? Where are you going? You disappearing? Yeah. Garrick Primal Hunter. That's a triple green card if I ever saw one. I think it's just Worm Coil Engine. Worm Dead. You can even sack Worm Coil to get Muldrifter back. You make two guys and you draw a card. And then you can sack Muldrifter to get Worm Coil back. Ooh. That does I'm, sound good. Fifth pick Worm Coil is actually pretty interesting. That seems weird to me. Oh, a Blooming Marsh. Oh, an Edric. Oh, Riffling Cloudscape. What do you think? Even Skin Render's not bad. Puzzle Search for Tomorrow. Looter, of course, is pretty good. Cloudscape's pretty good, though. Like, we're not green yet, so I think we can actually be safe with one of these two. Both of which have enter the, Enters the Battlefield triggers for Recurring Nightmare. Yes. Which is kind of cool. I'm going to sneeze probably in a minute, so... <coughs> there it is. Is this Rippling Cloudscape? I think that might be better than Skin Render. Yeah. And it can go over here on the two spot. Okay, well... Oh, Ultimate Price. I was going to be like, I guess we have to take Overgrown Tomb now. But we really don't. I'm going to just take Ultimate Price. Pretty solid. What do we got here? Oh, Fatal Push. Alright, cool. So it's pretty clear that black and blue are 
viable options. I'm going to take... I don't think Smuggler's Copter is actually that great. I don't know if that's a hot take or not. I do like a Shardless Agent, though. Chris RD, I agree with you. It's is... probably Agent or Copter. I'm going to take Agent. I'm also going to lower the volume here. Scooter does fill the yard, but, like, usually these decks don't have a ton of creatures unless we're green. I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong. I need you tonight. Oh yeah, agent of the baleful strix. That's the that's what I want to live in modern. Ooh, an arbor elf. I suppose so. Arbor elf's better than growing rights, I think. And if we do end up salty, we're playing both of these. So, what up, night hockey? I had to pass your your namesake card, unfortunately. I had to pass a little vampire night hockey. Oh, a bayou came back. Perfect. Down on the bayou. Now if we can just get Blooming March, 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 and also uh, that Overgrown Tomb, I think we're good to go. I don't think Charlotte's Agent or Baleful Strix is too powerful for modern. Definitely not Charlotte's Agent. It's just a Cascade card. Baleful Strix is a 1-1 that draws you a card for 2 mana. I definitely don't think this is too powerful. I think if Snapcaster is in modern, I think Baleful Strix is just fine. Elvish Mystic. Not sure if we're playing an Elvish Mystic. I don't want to play a green card. Well, maybe. It's still a rampy guy. And it, these are guys we can sacrifice to Recurring Nightmare, so that's also fine. If you know what I mean. If you know what I'm saying. No idea. You have no idea what I'm saying? Please explain it. I'll never do that. Okay. Okay. It's all right. I think you mean it's real good. I mean, it only kills things with three or less. That's everything. No. There it is. Um. So the thing about Agent is being able to break in, like, Ancestral Vision or Living End. Like, you can already do that. Like, you're just playing... Like, if you're playing Agent alongside, like, Demonic Dread and, uh, what's the other one? Oh, Mana Drain and a Mind Twist in this pack? Mind Twist is way better. I actually agree with you. Especially if we have Rampy, Rampy Elves. Yeah. And a Karn. That doesn't have art, apparently. Artless Karn. Yeah, I think we just take Mind Twist here. Yeah, the Vampire sub-theme in Q was pretty rough. Yeah, just gonna mind twist all day. Mana Vault. God, Ooh. what did you take? Ain't a Sylvan Library? I think and we just take Mana Vault. And a Hee Haw Mouth. That's old Hee Haw. And a Torrential Gear Hulk. No, I didn't know Mana Flare was in this. Oh, uh, I think this is probably <clears throat> new. Also, Charter Course is new. <laughs> Planeswalker Guard isn't loading for some reason on MTGO. Unfortunate. Surprise to the surprise of no one, but unfortunately, nonetheless. I like that we weren't sure if we were going to be green, and then we get two dual, two green dual lands on the, on the old wheel arena. Lotus. Oh, I thought this was Jace for a second. I just saw a blue planeswalker with two blue symbols in his casting cost. Got a new gun. That's his name is Eugene. I think Ugin is much better than Lotus Cobra here, so. I wish it was a planeswalker, or I wish it was a creature so we could uh recurring nightmare and him, but I think it's definitely Ugin. He even has art. He does have art. Interesting. I wonder why Ugin has art. 
Nissa doesn't have any art. Polluted Delta is pretty good. Yeah, I get to buy you. It gets a bayou and an island, so it gets all our colors. Pass on a cut, but whatever. I don't care about no cut. Oh, a breeding pool. Or a, also get that. or a green soul ring. Or an upheaval. I don't think we're an upheaval deck, though. I mean, we have mana vault. Maybe we are. I think that's just my mantra. My mantra is that I'm not an upheaval deck. In life? Yeah, in life. It's either Breeding Pool or Draga Tree Speaker. I don't think we actually need the Tree Speaker here when we have these two already. Nah. I think it's Breeding Pool. pool. The fact that we have a patch makes it way better. Yeah. I think it's just uh, not that close. I like a Batter Skull. I feel it's just Batter Skull here. Double Corsair Crew Actually, it might be Corsair Crew but it's double... Gr eh, actually, the green... All our fetches get... Gr uh, yeah, I think it's actually Corsair Crew Fix. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. Chad Bradbury. Chad Bradbury. What's going on, buddy? I know you've been waiting for this since the the dawn of time. Um, Noble Hierarch seems good. Oh, Deathrite Shaman seems real good. It's not bad. Is Deathrite Shaman better than Noble Hierarch? I mean, how many fetches are we realistically going to have to uh, to yeah, ramp this that's guy? Plus, Noble Hierarch has it doesn't get black, but it does get our blue, which is relevant. And I think it's just better also than... Also skews and go for the throw. I like scavenging as a sideboard card. Maybe it's even main deckable. I don't think we need to go for the throw yet. We have Fatal Push, Ultimate Pride. I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the Noble Hierarch. Because I think it's just better than Mystic at this point. Oh. Oh. Wow, so Gabby was streaming and, and all of a sudden you can't even make, you can't even be on time. Unbelievable. Um. Shred some bones. Bone Shredder is ready. I like Beast Within a lot, but Bone Shredder works with Recurring Nightmare, so. Sometimes you gotta shred them bones. We also, also we already have Abrupt Decay for, and Riftwind Cloudscape for more problematic permanence. Oh, gutter sniping with the double hunter emote. What's the difference between an emote and an emoji? I don't know. Okay. Tassiger. We could splash a white for the Sphinx's rev. We actually have the noble hierarch for it. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> not so sure. I'm not so sure either, but <clears throat> boy. Fairy Hoof does win games. It really does. Like but is it is... good is it good enough to, to why did that why did that come up? That was weird. I'm gonna take Crater Hoof just because I think it's better than the other cards. Oh wow, Sylvan Library came back. That's surprising. That's real surprising. I like Hee Haw Mouth and Inquisition, but... Well, this is the other card I was going to take, but... Maybe it's just Acidic Slime. I think Acidic Slime is actually Slime better. Slime pretty solid. Well, if you're going to take Crater Roof, I'm not going to play him. I'm not there Ooh, yet. Natural Order. Now we can play him. It's pretty busted. That is pretty good. I think Nissa's really good, too, though. Nah, man. I will take the natural order. You're right. Oh, what? what? Oh. What? Okay, well, now we have a lot of ramp. Green soul ring. Come on back. Yeah, sure. So I can just put this Elvish Mystic back in and this Crater Hoof? Yeah. Well, now this is our deck, I guess. Channel, eh? Oof. Good lord. Ah, Tropical Island, too. Dang. So we've seen Underground, Tropical, and Bayou so far. I don't even know if Channel's that good for us. We have Worm Coil and Ugin. And Mind Twist. Yeah, I don't know if Mind true. Twist is good. But turn one, Worm Coil or, or, or Ugin seems pretty good for me. Yeah. What do you guys think? Is it Channel? Oh, people never uh, appreciate green in the cube. That has been that has been 1,000% our experience. Yeah, it's always open. 
I think it's just channel, right? Plus, if there's something else, this like this is early enough in this pack where we can take something else. <laughs> like a demonic tutor, I guess. This pack is also good. You got Misty Rainforest. Sylvan Kyriad. What? Sylvan Kyriad. Oh, did you say it in a weird voice, though? I may have started a little Sylvan bit. Sylvan Kyriad did. I was like, what did he just say? I have no idea. 21st century is yesterday. <clears throat> Did you know about the 21st century? It was yesterday. No. You know. It's probably Tudor. Tudor's pretty good. Is it Tudor over Misty, though? I think so. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, it probably is Demonic Tudor, right? I mean, it's the best card in your deck. It is the best card in our deck. That's a good... At that's... all times. You're not wrong. Oh, I really want to take the Misty, though. <sighs> I don't think I could take Misty over Demonic Tutor. That's probably super greedy, but I don't even care. Oh, that's the good Veraska. It's also a Walking Ballista, which is pretty good channel. <laughs> Turn 1, 10, 10. Oh, I died. Also, Razaketh the Foul Blooded. It's just Frasca. Maybe. I mean, I do like Walking Ballista with Channel, but I'm not going to like. So, eight mana for a. Four, eight, eight life to put a 4 4 into play is not great. Progenitus, but the problem with Progenitus and Natural War is that we actually have to play Progenitus to do that. And that is not something I really want to do. I just don't want that in my deck. I mean, it's pretty good. Progenitus? Yeah, with natural order. Yeah, we already have targets. I'm just going to take the Vraska. I think it's good enough to take. Hissing Quaggy. Misty Snakeums. Frailies is very good. I'm a big Frailies fan. But Mystic Snake or... <laughs> I bet you Mystic Snake comes back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards are going to come back in this pack. I think Mystic Snake is definitely one of the weaker cards in this pack. I also think it's Hissing Quagmire. He'll take Flutter's Tran. Gets a lot of lands, too. Uh, it gets us Breeding Pool, and that's oh, it. Breeding Pool, okay. Too many Planeswalkers. Get out of here. Yeah, Flutter just gets us Breeding Pool, which is not great. I'm not a big fan of that. Lana Wars Fear. I think I think Fraley's is always fantastic, but I'm I'm, I'm reluctant to put another. Use these. I would I wouldn't mind having another land. Yeah. I'm gonna take the Elder because we don't actually have that many creatures. And if we're trying to be opposition, late. There's a late opposition. Unfortunately, we don't have any token creatures at, at, at all. So I took the I took the elder because we have recurring nightmare, which is a great this is a great card to sacrifice, and also uh, natural order. And with fourteen creatures in the deck, like I really want to be able to have things that go with these these cards. So I'm gonna take Vraska out for now. We could probably still get away with opposition with fourteen creatures. I think we'll take it. I don't know. I don't know if we we're gonna play it though. Ramp. And a sower and a maelstrom pulse. Isn't strip mine just busted in this format? I don't know. Yeah. Is it? It's busted in all formats. Is it? Yes. It surprises me that there's still like five cards in this pack that I would take, like skull clamp, sower, maelstrom pulse, strip mine. Clamp is pretty strong. You have a lot of outs with them too. Sacker baleful strix. Sacker. You have my elder. All these dudes. I think it is Clamp out of all the cards in this pack. I do like Sower of Temptation, especially with Recurring Nightmare. I think it's actually Sower here. That feels weird. I don't know how... Oh my god, really? Oh, wow. Ooh. 
mean, we're not going to have that many forests. But why not? I feel like we're heavier green than anything else at this point. Look, we are. We're definitely heavier green. And plus we have Bayou and Breeding Pool as forests. There's also an Avenger, which is pretty good with Natural Order as well. I mean, I would never get an Avenger over Creator of Fiends, I think. Plus, Rafelis is just better with Ugin, with Mind Twist, with Worm Coil. Rafelis is just better with every other card in our deck that isn't Natural Order. Eh. I'll just take a mannequin here. This pack's not exciting. That's why you should not have gone a two blue card last pack. I, Ooh, I don't know if drag you, test. That's actually very good. Yeah, I'd play that. I'd play that. Sylvan carry added and him to Torok come back. I don't think it's him in this deck. No, it's going to be hard for us to get two black fairly consistently. We could even cut the blue. I'm not going to play carry added. I think I'd rather just have a him, though. Oh, Progenitus came back. All right. Frehley's and Hissing Quagmire, huh? I think it's actually Quagmire here. Yeah. Eureka. That's interesting. Okay. It's got to be a green card, 100%, because no one cares about green cards. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. So we need like five cuts here. I think Fatal Push is actually cuttable. Yeah, I agree with that. Because there's some decks where it just does nothing. Cutting blue would actually be super easy. But we lose a lot of pretty powerful cards. I mean, not really. Just these five. Six, I guess. And we can even splash like Muldrifter. I don't even think Snapcaster is that good, is it? Not in our deck. We don't have that many targets. We like, have what do we get? Natural Order. Which, not really. The game's probably over by that point. So it's not relevant. Abrupt um, Decay. Channel, which probably doesn't matter. Demonic Tutor. Christ, it's not terrible, but it's not great. I can see cutting it. Because with Polluted Delta and Breeding Pool and Noble Hierarch, we have three sources of blue automatically in the deck. So we could cut these. Well, I'd leave Muldrifter. That would be my... Oh, we also have my Elder to get blue. So that's reasonable. Why did you do that? Why couldn't you put them in a pile that I... So this is 23. This is only 12 creatures, though, and three of them are these dirt burgers. <clears throat> I just don't know if we're even a Crater Hoof Natural Order deck. That feels a little greedy. I mean, how many creatures are we realistically going to have out after we sacrifice one of them to natural order to get a crater hoof? Yeah, maybe. We have two dudes, so our guys get plus two, plus two. I don't know. I'd much rather be doing, like, channel into Ugin or Worm Coil or Mind Twist and making sure we have, like, a, a, a stronger late game with cards like Sower and Riftwing Cloudscape. <clears throat> The double blue cards are the kind of the cards I want in the deck. Uh, we can also cut one of these elves if we don't play. If we don't play natural order and yeah, I think this. I think we can cut these. I think these are the two stronger ones. So now we have twenty cards. So we can add sower back. Add, Probably Strix. Yep, baleful Strix. Agent. Um. Uh, well, I mean, we have. I don't know if it's Agent or Riftwing or Snapcaster. I don't think it's Snapcaster. It doesn't look that great in our deck. Let's figure out what Snapcaster can hit. I'm not really ever going to get Channel back. I mean, getting Demonic Tutor back is pretty good. Oh, we'll cut Fatal Push for now. Decay. Like, by the time you actually have enough mana to Snapcaster and Channel, you're probably just going to cast whatever you can yeah, Channel. That's not really. So we can mine, And same thing with Mind Twist, really. I, it's, I, I feel like it's going to be rare you're going to double mind twist someone. So it's basically Demonic Ultimate and Rope Decay, and I think that's actually not enough. 
So that means we could bring in Shardless Agent and Riftwing Cloudskate. I think this deck actually looks great. Seems decent. Do you want this Vraska in here? Probably. I agree. We probably do. What do we cut for that Vraska? For old Vrassy. Sassy Vrassy, as the kids say. Um... How many acidic slime effects do we have? Like, none? Yeah, that's like our only one. But it is recurring with Nightmare, so that's good. Do, can we play 16 lands with these three one mana guys and a Rafelos and a channel? I think we can get away with 16 lands. And if we can't, I don't care. All right, let's see what, let's see what our colors look like here. Heavy green, which is nice with the old... Uh, Sassy Rafelos. One, two, three, four, five. This is 11 green sources. One, two, three, four, five, six black sources. Probably going to go up to three there. Four five six blue sources that seems fine so six seven ten yeah i think we just play 41 special i'm okay with that let's do it yeah this deck looks sweet <coughs> all right let's see if it's a real thing we didn't get any power though but whatever mine twist is kind of power so is mana vault i guess we got like two half powers which is kind of the same as one power i guess <laughs> I need you tonight. 21st century is yesterday. Join the match. I will play first. I will keep this hand all day that's a turn to Rafelos my man Minate. I'm gonna go with Bayou in case we draw like breeding pool I wanna have a breeding pool out actually I'd probably just play forest and, and Atlanta War Emissary here come they're gonna go a terminal wasteland you ready that'd be pretty gross ready waiting for it our opponent's name is True Blaze. 420 True Blaze it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's, yep, like you do. What are the odds this guy resolves? Oh, uh, 0%, zero percent, Frank. Oh, you're just going to tap my land. That's cool. That was a weird choice. If we drew another forest, we could have actually had a turn to Rafelos, which would have been sweet. Not today. Man, that was rude. What a rude dude. That was extremely rude. You're right. I did not enjoy that rudeness. I know, we have a lot of swamps. That doesn't do anything for us, does it? I mean, <coughs> fix our black. Do we have any double black cards? I don't think we do. Oh, we would have did it too. That's not gonna. That's not how that works. Oh God, we could have been breeding pool, warm coil engine. Are they gonna daze us? No. That should be really brutal if we didn't play our land and got dazed. I would have cried. <coughs> Is this guy dead? Oh God. That's annoying. You're right. Sure. Boy, that mock sapphire in your opening hand really changed the whole game for you. 
Do we just play Elder and then they eat it? No, we just like sack it, right? Well, yeah, they sack it, but then we get two lands. Yeah. Is that good? I think so. We could also resolve recurring nightmare. Yeah, I think that's probably better. This is where they play an artifact. Also, actually, this guy's great because it's an artifact, so it actually is immune to the abyss. Oh, a little, little speakerino. A little big trees McSpeakums, as the kids say. Do they say that? I've heard them say it before. Hmm. Little cryptic commander, you have by an elder. God, this card's really obnoxious when you're like a creature deck. Even I if we like. never go away because of his mox, right? What? No, it's not like it's not like it's not like port. Why? Wait. What do you think it does? Oh, it's not that card. Okay. Sure. You got it. Nope. Can't pay three because I don't have it. Magic online, and you know that. So. Little gray bearded boy and dad. I don't even know what that means, Spring Stingray. That is a weird. That is a weird thing to say. I say it all the time. Do, do you? Yeah. Wow, so this Mox Sapphire let them tap our land when we would have played Rafelos. Then they let us then they let they let them follow up with the Abyss. <laughs> sure. Must be nice. They still have seven cards in hand too. It's so it's so amazing. Oh, or Shot Port. Like you do. So you have arguably the best card in cube. Nice. Seems good. Meanwhile, I'm playing with like six and eight mana planeswalkers and creatures. Sure. Mystic Confluence, arguably one of the best cards in the format. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Well, I'll tap your land because that's what I do. Sure. Whatever. JC Galvanil, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. If you guys have subbed, be sure to check out the subscriber Discord channel. Mike Mike hasn't done so yet because he doesn't know how technology works. Most technology. Exactly. Oh, you're gonna pay your costs. And he hasn't put any pressure on us yet. Oh, there you go. Which pressure? That's fine. It's just gonna get. It just goes back to our hand, and they're gonna have to sacrifice it. That doesn't do anything. Actually, not that strong a play. No, it's kind of not. Because now if we draw a land, we just get a better mind twist. <laughs> so. See you later, Vencer. Vencer, more like shitter. It's not your finest work, man. Yeah, it could have been better. <clears throat> JC Galmiel, thank you so much for saying so. I am a fan of your stream as well. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if you have a stream. I'm sorry. If you do, though, let me know and I'll check it out. Oh, my favorite. How nice. It's a good one. Oh, an exitic, exitic, an exitic slime. Oh, they use a Rashad port. Interesting. Four mana, huh? Cool. Yep. Having a fun. Having a fun. Indeed. Having a fun. 
That's super annoying, dude. Yeah, that was a pretty good start. Just bringing in him to Torok, taking out the ultimate price. Taking out... I'm going to bring in Mesmeric Fiend. I'm going to take out Bone Shredder. Take out Recurring Nightmare, perhaps? I just think it's too cute in this matchup where he's trying to, like... The Natural Order Progenitus package might be good here. Um, I mean, not if they have the Abyss, though. Oh, yeah. Maybe not, then. Oof! Traded an LSV for me. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, we're just going to bring in one of these guys. Oh, it's not Sacrifice. You're right. It's Target Creature. That's interesting. What if it gets stuck in our hand, though? God, like, that's the, that's my biggest fear, is that we just get stuck with it in our hand. Like, we don't have an efficient way to discard it. Nope. That seems too cute for me. I don't know, man. Resolve that, and he's basically dead. Right, but if it's if you end up drawing it, then like you literally, then he's not dead. I mean, with your luck, we'll probably draw it. So. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I can hit myself and then hope it randomly gets discarded. I get three for one myself and hope that Progenitus is one of the cards, and then I hope that I also don't have Natural Order in hand and that gets hit as well. Not sure how long I'll be streaming. I'm probably going to do at least another one after this. Just going to bring in an Arbor Elf. I think our deck's good. I just think their deck is pretty well positioned against it. Oh, that's, that's a good hand. Mm, fine, I guess. It's close. This hand has everything I want, but... Oh, actually, we'll keep that. Now we're talking. Here comes my uh, Mock Sapphire. Soul Ring. Uh, Venser. Oh, just a preordain. So they have Ponder and Preordain in their deck. Seems good. Seems good. I would say give me a land, but we know it's going to be Noble Hierarch, so... Oh, got the Ponder as well. It's got it all. How nice, as the kids say. <laughs> Splinter Twin combo as well. I mean, maybe. We didn't, I oh, we did see it. We did see like a uh, plateau, so it is possible, I guess. His win condition is his opponent's misery. <laughs> I want to make you miserable enough to scoop. All right, well, he gets on tap with all these beautiful babies, so that's cool. Could level up here. Uh, we could, but it doesn't do anything. I think I'd rather just play, like, Shardless Agent here. How are you going to do that? Oh, uh, you're right. Baleful Strix is what I meant. Maybe hit a land? Nope, just Corsair Crew Fix. All right, well. Because if we level up, then we're only adding two green, which actually doesn't let us cast anything. So if we draw a land, we can actually level up and then play Corsair, which is pretty good. <clears throat> Here comes the go Sapphire Abyss right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, just a Monastar Mentor. Sure. <laughs> oh, boy. No, well, that was a good draw. You probably just kill that Mentor, yeah? Yeah.
put you to 14. One, two, three. We can have five mana now? That's so much mana. I feel like if we can resolve this, uh, this worm coil next turn, we're in good shape. You like worm coil engines, bro? They're pretty good. You ever, uh, you ever, you ever kiss a worm coil engine? I can't say I have. Looks dangerous, though. It's probably, you'd be dead. You'd probably be dead. <laughs> Looks like there's some kind of acid going on in there. I mean, acid aside, like, I think this mouth is just terrifying enough, right? Yeah, it's not good. I feel like that's, those are probably razor blades, right? Those are probably really not ideal for touching. Just don't touch it. It's got death touch, dude. Just don't touch it. It does have death touch. It's pronounced D-touch. Here comes the... Oh, just... <laughs> oh, wow. You have... So you have Mox, Soul Ring, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Ponder, Preordain. Sure. That's insane. I mean, it's not super well positioned right here, but... It is what it is. Wow. Very aggressive. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Yeah, we can go get a land with that. <laughs> I mean, if I, we get I'm a land... Like, I'm kind of being serious. Yeah, so am I. But then we, yeah, and then we can play uh, Shardless Agent. I guess the Worm Coil Engine one's bad kisser all teeth. Yeah, I could see that. Jesus, look at this. Look at this comical match we're playing here. Preordain, Ponder, Jace, Mock, Sapphire. And I'm like, I have a course of crew fix. <laughs> you should draft his deck next time. It looks very strong. I concur. One, two, three. We'd have four mana. Actually, we can get a land. And then, no, Sower doesn't take none, this guy. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to get. I wish I knew what our deck was so I could Demonic Tutor and I could efficiently go get something. What do we have in here? I mean, we can put Jace to one, which is still so bad. Zero or bust. Zero or bust is right, dude. I feel like we play Crufix here. It's really good if we land. It's a Thrag Tusk. Of course it is. But we can actually Demonic Tutor and try to hit another land. Um, oh, Vraska seems good. Yeah, I mean, we can't cast it, right? 25? Right. But, I mean, like, we have a, a, the top that could be a land this turn or next turn. So we actually have two potential tops. We can also get a Mind Twist. Yeah, that seems good. Mind Twist or Vraska, guys? What do you think? I think Mind Twist is way better. Oh, we could have got Channel this turn and actually Worm Coiled. I don't know if that's great, though. You think Vraska's better? Mind Twist is better, you said? Nah, Mind Twist. I think if that resolves the game, it's just over. Land. That's pretty good. And we got a second blue next turn. That's that's pretty alright. Alright. Well, we did it. Yeah, so if they tap out for something, we get to Mind Twist them. If they don't tap out for something, then they didn't play anything. Oh, Silumgar was taken out for Hostage Taker? I don't hate that. I do like being able to, to try new cards in the cube, and I think that's that's necessary for healthy cubage. But I do have a soft spot for Dragonlord Silumgar, so what are you going to do? Hey, what are you going to do, you know? Yep, Jace is drawing three cards again. God, Jace the Mind Sculptor, dude. He's better than all. Can we can we just one time unban this dude in modern, please? Aaron Forsythe, please. I don't ask for much. Yeah, we go channel worm coil, then they just bounce our worm coil. Not That's ideal. Not even good. Yeah. I don't like that that Taker can't hit walkers, but I do like that Taker can't give them their walker their card back once you. Like, you can bounce Dragonlord Silumgar and get your card back. You can kill Dragonlord Silumgar and get your card back. 
but you know, once hostage, wait, if you take their mocks, hostage taker, that's pretty awesome because you can actually take their like soul ring or their mocks and then just play it that turn or their skull clamp or one of the swords. So, I mean, like, I don't think hostage taker is worse than Slum Guard. It might, might even be better. I just think it's, uh, I just think it's different. Well, here comes Ashiok. I'm hoping that, sure. Oh, I'm in a Torok. How nice. So, Jexile, Arbor Elf, and two lands. That's fine. We don't have a second blue for Sower, but it doesn't matter because they only have a monk. Sol Ring, sure. I think now they're just trying to. Now we can twist them. I think they're just trying to empty their hand so that they don't have. Uh, so that when, they, when we twist their face, it's all. Oh, they're just they can just tap down our Bayou, which is pretty brutal. Oh yeah, that's true. That's pretty stupid. Especially with the Hymn to Torak on top, that's one thousand percent what they're gonna do. Yep, land black land swamps, one time. Riftwing Cloudscape. Oh, we get to kill Jace here. Let's Charlotte's agent and see what happens. Because we could get another land, and that would be cool. Oh, is that? That's actually very good, because we can... Oh, that's actually really good. So they have to turn anytime you can activate mana, you may pay one. Sure. Because then we can Worm Coil after we kill Jace. Alright, I'm down to Clown. Until I'm dead in the ground. Uh, attack you, attack Ashy. All right, all right. So long, Jasons. <coughs> One, two, three. How does this work? Right. Oh, right here. Pay a life. And now you cannot bounce it, which is nice. And you got an Arbor Elf. That ain't nothing. I guess we're good here. If only we had one black mana, we could have mind twisted for their entire hand thanks to Channel, but... Also, even if they, uh, if they Armageddon here, I think we're still in good shape. We have Corsair, yeah, Noble really Hierarch, and Tree Speaker. I mean, they get to keep Mox and Sol Ring, but... Our board might be better right now. So. Definitely better. There's no way they do that. When you see Jace, you want old slimy? What does that mean? What are you saying right now, Chad? Oh, Silumgar. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I... Hello, Mike's friend. <laughs> She's crying out loud. Oh, we get, a, we get an island. That's pretty good. And you hit... Uh, those are the real cards. Exile cards are Ugin and Hissing Quagmire. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have eight mana. That's a lot. Wow, Treasure Cruise. Seems good. I would love another black source here. Uh, I don't think I'm the real Frank Lepore, but it's hard to say sometimes. Life gets real confusing. Life comes at you fast. How do you feel about pizza? I like pizza. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll like pizza. <clears throat> I'm generally a fan of pizza. Generally? Yeah. You're generally? Yeah, generally a fan I of pizza. I have to assume they know we got mind twists, so they're like, hey, let's keep tapping your thing down. Give me a black mana right on top. <clears throat> that ain't it, but... <clears throat> so we go attack here, and then we attack everyone else at here as well. I'm just going to play this top land. We're not going to play Sower this turn. Oh, Breeding Pool. Oh, nice. 
So we're going to go six at your face, and then everyone else here. One, two, three, four. Ah, that doesn't kill Ashiok, though. And I'm very concerned with Ashiok. That's fine. Everyone in Ashiok. I don't think you have any other eyes. If you do, so be it. Making sure I couldn't play that. <laughs> There's six cards in hand. That's ridiculous. I yeah. guess we have four, but... Mike B, nice to see you dressing like me. What does that even mean? I like that they said your dad, and they, I'm just... That's, that just yeah, means that's me. You know, yeah. huh. I guess we could have leveled this guy up twice. Yeah. No reason not to, I guess. I guess not. It's just such an... It's an ability that, like... It's one of those things where you're like, well, maybe it'll be useful, but it's it's almost never useful. Even if it's a 1-4, like, meh. One, two, three, four, five, seven mana. All right. Eight mana. Here comes Ugin. Oh, I'll just steal that. That's pretty, that's pretty sick. And you let us mind twist you. Oh my god. Well, they have they have Watery and Island up, which is interesting. I bet they have Mana Drain. Probably. <clears throat> so. What's more important to resolve here? I think Mind Twist. Really? I think we have to get rid of this guy, otherwise we can't win the game. Maybe. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, four. We can mind twist them for three. And then we keep up one, two, three. Oh, we actually have double black because of Urborg. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Man, we should have thought of that a couple turns ago. Didn't they just play the Urborg? They just played it last turn. Okay. Yeah, because that, that was never an option before then. They 100% have to mana leak this. Because otherwise they can just lose their mana leak. Nicobolus Island Abyss. I guess we just him you. And then we'll take a hit from this guy, but you have no cards, so. Yep, there you go. <laughs> oh, it's just a mana leak. Okay. We could almost pay for it, too. We can almost pay for it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take a hit from this guy. Actually, we don't even have to, because this guy is a 7-7. Seven, seven. You can definitely attack and do it. Well, it does have first strike, so we want to be... We do get to kill both their guys. But prowess be a thing, so... Oh, yeah, just... Oh, I'll put you to seven, gain, gain seven? Deal. I do wonder what that last card is. <clears throat> but, I mean, if you're going to counter something, you might as well counter him to Torque, because otherwise you're just going to lose it anyway, so... Yeah. It's literally a use it or lose it situation. Yep, you got it. I will take six. I don't really want to be drawing this mana vault, but... Tap my island because you're afraid of... a double blue spell. No? Why would you tap the bayou? You have an Urborg out. It doesn't really do much. What if his hand was Mana Drain Mana Leak? So I'm like, alright, I'll use the Mana Leak on this and keep my... Oh, I guess we just win. I guess it was nothing. Hmm. Counter spells would be nice here. Bone Shredder, destroy a non-black non-artifact. That doesn't kill Sphinx. Destroy a mono-colored creature. That doesn't kill Sphinx. 
I wonder if opposition would be good here. It's okay. We have a lot of ramp cards. They don't seem to have any removal is the thing. Did you notice any removal that game? No. Do we board anything in? Oh, he did have Nicol Bolas in the graveyard. Chad, have a good night, buddy. And I'll see you if you uh, if you head back when you're done. Or when you get home or whatever. Our record right now is 1-1 uh, in this match. And this is our first match, so... Um, what do you think, man? I think it's fine. I mean, realistically, opposition is actually always good if you play creatures. They do have the Abyss, which is really problematic. Yeah, we have no ads to that. Well, we have a Citic Slime. Okay, we have one out. We'll have a Demonic Tutor to get a Citic okay, Slime. Okay, we have two outs. <laughs> yeah, you look for another. We have Ugin. Alright, we have three outs. Worm Coil Engine. That's not out. It doesn't sacrifice it. It's not artifact creature, so we can actually play Worm Coil and deal with it. Yeah. And just Vraska de destroys an enchantment. Okay. Well, we've seen enough. We can bounce it with Riffling Cloudscape. That's not really now. That's not really now. I'm, I'm stretching a little bit. <sighs> could have three with natural. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we could have. Yeah, we could have natural order. So our outs to the Abyss are, I would say, these cards. And what was the other one? Demonic Tutor. So you have five ways to... Oh, also Mind Twist is kind of a way to deal with it. In an ideal situation, sure. <clears throat> we also haven't seen... What counter spell do we see? Just Mana Leak? And Mystical, Mystic Confluence. Yeah. What a polar SSB. Worm Coil does eat pizza. You're right. Like a lot of pizza, I would imagine. Probably a couple pies. A couple pizza pizza pies. Uh, we're cutting Nightmare because this isn't a... Wow, this hand is interesting. You think it's a keep? Really? I don't think this hand does anything. Like, their deck's pretty scary. And, like, we can't... We have no black. I don't think this hand's a keep. Uh, we cut Nightmare because it's just... We don't have the time to be that cute against our opponent. Yeah, not having any plays till turn three in this format is really bad. Not having colors for this is also really bad. And then we can play this and hit like an abrupt decay and just have no targets. I'm going to mulligan. I think this is a better hand. If we have any land that comes into play on tap, I'm going to bottom this because I want a forest or a bayou or something to play Noble Hierarch on turn one but otherwise we can play it on turn two and then suspend Riffling Cloud Skate or play Yavimaya Elder that hand was terrible that hand did nothing like our opponent has Moxes and Preordains and Ponders and Jaces and if our first play is a turn three Shardless Agent with zero black sources um, we're not going to win that game We don't need a black land. Like, we don't need a swamp. We need a second green source or, a se or, or uh, an untapped land to play Noble Hierarch. Sure. Do it again. Might as well, right? Forest. Green source. All right, we're having a good time. We're shot in port, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, I don't know what your problem is, man. <laughs> if you don't mulligan to a perfect hand that gives you a much better turn three, you should just kept the first hand. Yeah, that's a great that's a great logic. I appreciate that. Can't do anything about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Um, no, can we add blue? Let's not add blue. Let's add a green. Yeah, I think we're still in this game. Like, they have five lands. We have four four lands right now. Like, oh, invasive. How you doing over there? You sitting in the back, now, yawning? Yeah, man. How's that working out for you? It's okay. Okay. What if you didn't do that instead? Never. Wow, never. Never ever. Well, now you know what I have in hand. Toxic deluge for oh you had the mox you just waited you just gotta just gotta wait oh frost titan oh having a good time having a good time pretty sure we can't win when frost titan is is in the building a rough God, I keep adding green if only his and quagmire was a forest. Unfortunately, nay. Nay is for horses. Hmm. I don't actually how we beat up a Frost Titan here. That's pretty upsetting. Like, even if we hard cast this, we still need two more mana to be able to bounce this guy. They could always tap our Worm Coil if we played that. I actually don't think we have an out to Frost Titan, which is pretty unfortunate. Yeah. What's it going to be? Oh, that's... Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I think this game is over. Yep, bounce a guy, tap a land. What are you going to do? Oh, they can actually bounce a guy, tap one of our lands with Port, and then tap one of our lands with Frost Titan. So then we have two mana. So that's cool. Hooray. Yep, don't even care. Like, it's just not not fun. All right. Try again. I don't know what decay means. What is What are you saying with decay? Well, the Vintage Cube is not meant to simulate vintage gameplay. It's meant to simulate uh, the cards that, that are available are legal through vin throughout vintage. So. 32 months from Kermit the Frog. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, as you know. Preach. Uh, yeah, this is a, this is a keeper. Can we draw an Ugin? Mana Vault. I'm still going to go Quagmire turn one. And then probably Rift Wing into this. Oh, wow. Back to back games with Soul Rings. Having a good time. <laughs> See, it's funny because we're not. Oh boy. Um You could channel into Mana Vault. You're right, we could actually channel into Mana Vault. If we play Mana Vault this turn, we can play Vraska next turn. That's not bad. I don't know if I like Riffling Cloudscape just better this turn though. Uh, Abrupt Decay doesn't kill Frost Titan because you can't target Frost Titan with it to begin with. So that is not a legal... Abrupt Decay is... Furtig mana cost three or less. It's not a legal target. 
I'm actually just going to play Earthwing Cloudscape here. I think. Is that right? He doesn't have any creatures yet. Well, it does. This is any permanent. Oh. Then, yeah, that seems alright. Well, I mean, we, we could also, alternatively, we play Mana Leak next Mana Vault, or into Vraska, but then what if they have a counterspell? Like, that's problematic. Yeah. However, next turn we could go channel. No, we wouldn't have double. Yeah, I'm just going to go Mana Vault, and we're going to hope they tap out for something stupid. I just did not pay one. Isn't that literally what this is tapped for? Okay, sure. No, weird. Yeah, I'm like, the, the land is tapped. I don't know why you're not... Oh, one, two, three. Councils. Oh, that's actually just fine, I think. I don't know if that's fine or not. Actually, we kill that with Vraska, and then Vraska goes to two, or three, and then it still survives. However, if they play a land, they get to activate Colonnade, so that's that's obnoxious. No, I'd rather not untap my Mana Vaulter right now. Um, otherwise, you attack for six, and Vraska, well, I guess block here will take, Vraska will go to four. Is that better? I don't know, especially if you activate Colonnade. Having a, having a treasure is pretty okay, though. A glorious treasure. A glorious treasure. Oh, they didn't, they're not attacking with Colonnade. This is great news. Well, we live to fight another day. So apparently, like, we're just all we do is play against people with soul rings, I guess. Yeah. No problem is. I guess nothing problem. I guess problem is nothing. Wow. And it's power two or less, so of course it is. I do not want to pay for Mana Vault. I also, uh... Mm -hmm. So what can we do with Channel here? One, two. Not much. We don't have double blue. No, we have a treasure. Oh, yeah. So we could actually go blue, blue, and black. We can play Bone Shredder, Roofwing, Cloudscape. God, I wish Revelark wasn't when it left the battlefield. Ugh. We can bone shredder this and then just bounce a token. That seems that also seems terrible. And this is all we can do with Vraska, so we're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five mana. We can actually just play Riftwing, bounce a servo. Block the Revel Arc. One, two, three, four. This only kills Revel Arc. Why do you have why does it have to be two power or less? I don't understand. Whatever. Here comes Colonnade, you ready? Yep. Like you do. Oh, you don't want to come in with that guy? Yep, not even going to block now. How about an Ugin? Can we draw an Ugin? That would be great. I think. Yeah, that would be good. I mean, they'd keep this guy, and then they'd still get Angel of Invention back, and they'd still have Colonnade, so maybe I, that, it doesn't feel that good. Eh, I'll just take another one. Oh, good. A Bayou. I feel like we just have to kill this. Like, before it gets any worse, I think it's just get it off the board. Yep. 
Angel Invention 2.0. You're the most fun to watch. Got him. You did got him. What are you going to do about that? Nothing. Oof. A hollowed Fontania. Oh, attack with the angel too. Oh, interesting. Just make all the trades. Everybody's dead. I will take another one and we'll Sylvan Library and see what happens. <clears throat> well, that's not what we wanted. Um, Put you on the bottom. Would you like to draw two? God, always yes. What's going on here? Let me draw my two. There he is. No, babe. How much life are we taking, though? Like, are we just... I don't want to, like, die to... Well, Ugin gains seven, though. I guess they're going to attack Ugin, though. So, Ugin goes to nine... Whatever. What are you going to do, huh? It's got the Eugene. What if they counter this? That would suck. I'd cry. What if it was Emrakul? Like 15 mana Emrakul? And we hit, since we have 4 mana, we only have to pay 11. So we pay 11 for Emrakul, go to 1. And then we get an Emrakul. One, two, three. The, good, the bright side is if they have mana leak, we can actually... Uh, oh my god, you have to be kidding me. Oh, they have mana drain. Uh, sure. Yep, enjoy your eight mana. And we know the top two cards are Island and... Forest, something like that. Yep, basically dead now. Yeah, don't even care anymore. Boy, I thought Q was going to be much more fun than this. Yeah, Abrupt Decay doesn't kill anything. Abrupt Decay is probably not good against them. I mean, it's no, I mean, like, it's very useful. Like, it kills soul rings and stuff. Oh my god. Of course they have mana drain. Of course they do. Why would you not have Mana Drain? Maybe we're making a misplay by not just playing Opposition in the deck. Maybe Mana Vault just isn't better than like an Arbor Elf. With opposition, it's certainly. It is certainly. Considering. You're certainly. Let's bring in Mesmeric Fiend, because that's a creature. I don't know if I even like Recurring Nightmare. No, well, you've yet to actually use it. So. Yeah. This is 42 cards. We can't submit like this. I'm going to take out the channel. It feels almost too cute here. Really? Okay. Green source? Um. Awkward. Yeah, it is awkward. I mean, Belfal Strix into uh, Mull Drifter is pretty good. How you doing over there, man? Just fine. How much sleep did you get? Enough. Apparently not. 
That was a good draw. Oh, that was... Alright, now we're doing it. Now we're living the dream. Oh my god, the dream is so real right now. <coughs> Next time we just get the hard cast of Mall Drifter, dude. It's my favorite way to cast that card. I don't want to because they have infinite mana up, but... I don't want to play anything, to be quite honest with you. I don't know if your one turn is going to be enough pressure. I got two creatures, man. Oh, yeah. That's true. Y'all know how creatures work? No. Well, figure it out. Please explain it to me. No. But I'm I just, said please. I'm just definitely not playing anything here. Like, if they want to keep up counterspell mana for the rest of the game, fine. Fine. Okay? Fine. Here we go. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, that's not a Jace the Mind Sculptor at all. Great success. Give me a land so I can actually mind twist you for a million. Well, that's a good dude, I guess. Is it worth it for four? I think so. Angel, Torrential Gear Hulk, and two islands, huh? Okay. Of course, I assume they kept the Mana Drain in hand. Uh, well, obviously you can have that one. <sighs> oh, God. I will assume you took the Having crypt. a good time. Sure. This is probably the card I care about least, so... You got it. Do I want to abrupt decay the soul ring? Probably. Seems decent. Like putting them from four from six lands to two lands is or four lands is probably where you want to be, I think. Plus one dad Jace. That's a, a spicy meatball. Man, this arbor level is keeping us alive here. Oh. Get rid of your white source, I guess. Seems correct. Where is our recurring nightmare now? In our sideboard. Oh, dang. Listen here, kitty cat. Is he listening? I don't think so. He never listens. Oh, good. Treasure cruise. For one mana, you say? Yep. Um, You can have Archmage by itself, and you can have these other two idiots. What did you take? Porcelain Legionnaire and Reflector Mage. But you don't have a white mana. I don't understand. He's a madman. He is. What a maniac. What an absolute, utter maniac. Well, that's pretty okay. Kill that Jace. So you have a Reflector Mage and no white sources? You call you can also activate Sheldock Isle now, right? Twenty cards or less? Yeah, that's pretty yep. rough. That could be anything, even a boat. It could be a boat. Did we lose Ride game one? Uh yes. How did we lose it? Oh um, how did we lose it? They mana drained our thing, and we just were like, "Up, oh, I guess. Yeah. I guess we have nothing left." I'm just gonna steal this guy because I don't need you to be putting a sword of fire and ice on things. Eh. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, Alpha Reno. That's where they play a Sea Chrome Coast. I don't think those cards are in this in this cube. Where? All right, <clears throat> that's pretty good. He's thirsty. That'll do. All right. All right. <clears throat> I wish we had more artifact kill spells. You know what I'm saying, man? I wish I had a million dollars. Well, you drink. No, look, we had we kept it in. Oh. We took. Did we take him out, or is just him not in our main deck? Him's not in the main. I don't believe. Really? Yeah. Really. Re Healy. I like this hand. I mean, we can Mesmeric Fiend. It's almost the same as him to Torok. Not so sure about that. Really? I mean, it's two mana. You get to... Oh, this hand I'm sure about. Yeah, that seems good. Oh. If I had a million dollars. Remember that song? Do you know that song by the Bare Naked Ladies? Do you even know who the Bare Naked Ladies are? I know who they are. I don't know about the song. Why not? Because I don't. How safe do you feel about playing Rafellos here? Not. But, I mean... What are you going to do? Oh, it resolved! Heavy breathing! One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana next turn. We cut opposition. Oh. Oh, we can opposition and play uh, Civil Library, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting, 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 interesting. Interesting. Say it again. I don't know. I think that's. I think we did enough. Oh, wait. Why don't you? <clears throat> One, two, three. Blue. Oppo Reno. And Sylvan Labrino. All right. Your move. Ooh, that's aggressive. Whenever they tap out on their turn to play a thirst, I'm like, yes. Take him for a land. They found one. They did. You'll never work in this town again. We can just tap that way forever, though. I can tap all their things forever. Give me a deranged hermit. Riffling Cloudskate's actually pretty good. Give but me a card that's not in our deck. Done. So we can bounce your Sheldock Isle and then tap your other, like, two of your lands? Yeah. Or we can steal this guy. And then tap two of your lands. I think we're doing that. That seems good, right? Seems decent. What do I know about Magic the Gathering? Yep, this is where the game gets less fun. Oof. Brown oof. Oh, got him. Opposition's a hell of a drug. Oof. Apparently you should just be playing that card. <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's true. Maybe that should just be in the deck. Yeah, it seems good. I want to think Vrask out for opposition. Also, one thing I like about Cube is that you can do this. Like you can, Or one thing I'd rather... I guess Leagues is what I like instead. I'm going to take the channel out because I think that's actually just worse. Just play as 40. Oh. No, I was, I'm going to add more elves. What are you talking about? <laughs> which one? What did you? Which which one did you laugh at? Which one got you? What you talking about? Did I say that? Yeah. You just laughing at me? Yeah. That's good friends, man. You don't remember that bare naked lady song? No. If I had a million dollars. Also, these cubes are quick, man. Also, you singing that one line over and over again that I don't recognize is not helpful in any way, shape, or form. What's a way, shape, or form? You know, a way, shape, or form. 
Oh, we get to play first and we get a tree speaky on turn one? It's like a soul ring, kind of. It's definitely a soul ring. It's a green soul Yeah, kind of. I played this by you in case we draw our fellows. I want to maximize my number of forests. If I had a million... Who's that? Oh, they added that to the cube? Okay. Interesting. Or fellows? I hope they didn't have the black one. Oh my god. That one's terrible. Oh my god, Michael. Are you ready? Uh, I don't think we're doing it this turn. But you, are you... I'm, does, I'm asking if you're ready. No. You Definitely will be. Definitely not. You will be. Remember that Yoda? Remember that was from uh, Yoda from Star Wars? As opposed to Yoda from anything else? Do you remember the other movies he was in? Uh, no, I don't. Can you inform me? Ooh. <sighs> Whatever, man. I'll get my clue. And then I'll crack it. That's a good card. Well, our mind twist just got sadly. Rafellos? Oh, Eugene. What are you doing here, Eugene? He just wants friends. He does just want friends. How come we didn't open Ancestral? Because we're bad at this game. Wow, I didn't know signets were in here. Did we see any signets? Mm -mm. I don't think we even saw a signet. And they're common, too. Well, I guess that doesn't matter, because there's not, like, the tri the traditional... Uh... I'll take one. There's not the traditional, like, rare, uncommon, common format. No. Oh, God, here we go. Sort of War and Peace. Huh. I don't care about that too much. I mean, we've got abrupt... Oh, there you are. Fashion late to the party. I'm actually fine. We can take a hit from this. Even we we have baleful Strix. So I think we're just playing Rafellos here. Because good lord, is that good next turn? It's pretty dope. We could have also made them discard two, but I don't think that's very good. Nah. One, two, three, four. We have five mana next turn. We can mull drift. Or if they just play Sword of War and Peace and equip it, they'll have four cards and we'll just get rid of all of them. You feel me? I feel that. Do you feel that? Oh, that's sad. I do get a land, though. I'll get an island. So instead of making two mana, I make one. Okay. Okay. And we made them discard a card? All right. That's a deal. <laughs> if I had a million dollars. If I had a million <laughs> Is that how the song goes? Are these the actual lyrics? Because that's pretty hilarious if it is. For all I know, they are. But what do you know? Nothing. Nothing. They don't have another white up, so we can actually make them just discard their hand now. And then all they have are these. I think we actually just. I think we actually block here because otherwise, not only does Kithian flip next turn when they have three dudes. Yeah, they knew what's up. They figured it out. Yeah, they're like, oh god. Be a land. I just want more lands. Actually, oh, that's, uh, that's not terrible. It's not great now, but... I think we just true. sow her and steal something. Probably Stoneforge. That seems great. Because now we can block either of these. Uh, I'm just going to keep... Yeah, we're just going to... That's fine. I, ain't gonna, I, don't need to, I don't need to be aggressively attacking here.
What do you how do you think we how do you think we're doing here? Pretty good. What would you, you do? If, know. What would you do if you had a million dollars? Uh, probably stop working. You're not sure? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe All right. maybe well, I'll just keep going, good. you know. Earn that paper, even more paper. Even more paper? Yeah, have a million dollars plus a regular paycheck. Oof. It's nice. It's a lot of paper, bro. I feel like I just want to kill this Kithy in here. If I draw land, I'm definitely going to kill Kithy to make you discard two cards. Def going to do that for show. Oh my god, get in there. Just attack with... Oh, wait. You can't attack with Stoneforge yet. Yeah, I'm just going to block this dude. Sure. How? What does that do for us? Three... Four, five, six mana. I mean, we can make a pitch their whole hand and just play that. And pass the turn. Well, then they get to flip this and flip this. So that seems actually terrible. I think I'd rather Erupt Decay like Kithian. Make them pitch two. And Mana Vault. Okay. So we go black, green, abrupt decay, Kithian, because we can. Mana Vault. And twist you. Like we did last summer. Sword and Boros Charm. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's Chad. Round one. Match one went terrible. Match two went better. And here we are in match three. What if Manival just untapped naturally and you have to do all these shenanigans? It'd be really good. No, oh, I got Blade Splicer. I guess I'll take two. I am actually going to pay for this because next turn we can Ugin and that puts us in a really good position. If we draw a land in the next two turns. If not, we can Worm Coil, which is also pretty reasonable against them. We are going to take five, which puts us to six. But Ugin gets rid of literally everything they have. How do you feel about that? It's all right. It's all right. Why are you like that? Why are you such a hater? Were you born this Someone, much of a so hater? I was indeed born, yes. I don't believe that for a second. Iron Chef Sammy, I didn't even see your comment, buddy. I'm sorry. Three drinks in. Keep up. Keep up. Oh, my God. Iron Chef Sammy, are you drunk again? Were you here when Iron Chef Sammy was drunk? Oh, yeah. That was good That's times. That was where the donation came from. Oh, my God. Gideon? Are you going to make an emblem? you got to make an emblem. Oh. All right. We just need to hit a land off the top. One time. Mm, it puts us back in the game. I mean, I thought we were already in the game. Does it? They kill it. They have no cards in hand. They make an emblem. I mean, we could just play Warm Coil Engine, I guess. That might be better. That, that might be better. God, I hate having to use the... Stupid mana vault. Actually, worm coil this turn into if they do kill this, like any recurring nightmare is pretty insane. Yeah, it's pretty good. Thrag tusk might be better in that situation though. One, two, three. Do we actually Muldrif to try to hit a land? That seems super greedy. Well, like we we do it, we just evoke it though, and then we have three, four. If we hit a land, we have five, and we thrag tusk. I guess we're dead if we don't hit a land though. Yeah, I don't like that. Um. 
So the thing is, if we Thrag Tusk, it's almost certainly going to die, which is nice, because then we can get it back with, like, Worm Token. Or not Worm Token, with uh, Thrag Tusk Token. Yeah, that's pretty good. How do we lose? They have no cards in hand. This deals with... Oh, actually, Gideon's probably going to attack. Which I guess is fine. Like, if we have Worm Coil out, it should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. No gamble, no future. That's what I always say. One thing we should probably remember is that uh, each vampire creature they own that isn't on the battlefield has madness. So that's good to know. <laughs> Just want to... Oh, a mountain? All right, good. So you don't actually have an extra card. Don't forget about the madness ability. That's really uh, what I want you to remember. I want to know, can you show me? Remember that song that you sang and, and it just became a meme? Yeah. Okay. It's also a real song. Look at the animals. Look at them? I try not to because once you look at them, then they start like, Hey, hey, will you, let you pay attention to me. One thing we could have done... No, we couldn't have. We didn't have enough. We didn't have things. Oh, this is aggressive. Super aggro. Yeah, that flips. Which is fine. I will block here. And if you have a way to kill your own Falconrath vampire... Nope, we go to five. Feeling good. Okay. Okay, what do we do here? We attack Shonder because we have to. They make a vampire... How do we stop that from happening? Because Chandra can't ultimate or else we're dead. I'm I'm scared. I don't know what we do about that, actually. Same. I guess we're just going to four here. I don't love it. Do you love it? So Boros Charm and Char are both in the graveyard. Those are your... Um, does that do anything? Probably not. No. Nah. Uh, why does Shonner have to be on... This doesn't have Trample? Nope. I don't understand. It's only have one more creature in play. Right. Literally, yeah. Like, one more dude, and we actually get to... Uh, Play opposition, tap down their blocker. I mean, we go to 11, which is good, but... It's all 10. What, why did I say 11? I don't know. Do I not know how math works? Probably. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, on the bright side, if they do Ultimate Chandra, they only get one card a turn. Yeah. So, like, we could probably race that, maybe... But I don't think it's going to be easy. Or they just don't see it. Well, they see it. <laughs> Welp. <coughs> yep, that's pretty good. Now maybe Vogue World Drifter? Um, I don't... What does that do, though? That doesn't get us... Like, then we have no board. Just land, that's all. But then they just kill us, because then we can't play anything else. So they go three, four, five, and then play a spell. So that seems terrible, right? Maybe. Okay. I mean, I'd rather Recurring Nightmare sack this guy to Sower, like, Stoneforge Mystic or something. Yeah, it seems okay. Because then we get two guys out, and then our opposition becomes significantly better. All right, here we go. Here we go. 
What's that from? Marvel vs. Capcom? Something like that. Is it? Is that what it is? Uh, we took out the channel, so we're not going to be able to cascade into channel anytime soon. Which is good. Is it? Because we wanted to Ugin. I don't know if we can pay that much life. I mean, we would have went to two, but would have would have wiped their board. So I think I think we would have been fine doing that. Ninkum poop. Think about it. No. I want you to think about it. I want you to die. Wow, this escalated quickly. Yeah, get wrecked. I did get wrecked. Mana Vault has been like so dangerous to us. I guess we have a Thrag Tusk. We can sack our Thrag Tusk to get a Worm Coil. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Oh my god! Didn't want that ultimate. Huh? This is great news. Oh, that's pretty scary. Kill Sower. What? What? I'll take two. Def. Most deaf, and then I'll kill your Johnny. Oh my god, this is great news. Yeah, that was an interesting play. Um. No. Oh, actually, we can kill. I we can kill both, right? Or no, we can kill one. Yeah, you can't kill both. No, I'll take one again. Land was very good here. Being able to get Thrag Tusk is pretty solid. Attack a Johnny. Attack Shandy. <laughs> Shandy! See, so here we can just... Yeah, I think uh, our opponent messed up real bad there. Yeah, that was definitely a... Um, that was not correct. There's no way. Um, I don't want to sack... Uh, I don't want to sack anything there because I don't feel comfortable at 7 life. I'd rather get... I'd rather Thrag Tusk first. Goblin Guide. Yeah, play that. I think I'm just... Oh, alright, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Yeah, this was definitely a that was definitely an ultimate moment. We had to we were in the tank trying to think about how we can dodge the ultimate and then like we didn't even have to. Fatal push seems good here. Yes. Yes. My name is Mitchell. Barbably boo. Is it now? Yeah. Not so sure. I'm gonna take mana vault out. That's too much damage against this deck. Oof. Look at this triple forest. Uh, mulligan. Oh, that's much better. Wow. That was a great hand. Um. Seems alright. Yeah, I'll keep you. Sure. And here we go. That is the Joker. Remember from Batman? From the Dark Knight? You remember that? I remember nothing. That seems accurate. Here comes Goblin Guide. You ready? <laughs> Never fails. They knew. They knew what we were getting. Oh my god, it's Chris Furderer. Chris the Murderer Furderer, as they say. You know Chris the Murderer Furderer? K. Murdford? I thought you didn't know I anything. I know he's referred to as the murderer. But... Oh, Baleful Strix? Ooh, maybe we just play that guy. I don't think we need to yet. Did you know you didn't know he was known as the murderer? No, I did not. I did not. <laughs> I, did, I did not. Oh, hey, Mike. Give me a land. Give me one land. Goblin guy, dude. Seriously. Oh my god, really good when he never gives you land. You're kind of being a Mitch about things. Alright, we're going to Baleful Strix and hope that it does. It gives us either a blue or a green or a black. Alright, you didn't, but I forgive you. I never killed her. I did not. You're going to Magma Jet this, this bird? Muldrifter might have been better, but I wanted to have the, the least potential for a blocker. Put one on top, one on bottom. Okay. I hate this situation because even if we get a green, we get to we, we we can't actually gain the life off this guy. 
I bet if Mike B did have a million dollars, he'd still sit behind me with his arms crossed. Probably. If I had a million Mike bucks. Oh, another, another not land, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Oh, I can get rid of that. Is this guy coming down? When, when's this guy coming down? Next turn? I think so. Where, where's the... There, one. Okay. I feel like we have to actually evoke Moldrifter here. And then if we hit any land, we did not hit a single... This is unbelievable. 12 cards, 3 lands. Sure. Arbor Elf is even terrible here because we don't have a forest, so... Both of these are terrible. Both of these mana dorks don't actually produce mana. Ooh, do you not Justice want this? Planned. Do you just want to put us to 8? What was Justice planned? For us to not have any tapped manas. Tapped manas? Yeah. Do you have any idea? What does that mean, to not have any tapped manas? Just think about it. Okay, so we go to 1. Give me a land. I don't think it matters. Still wasn't a land. You got it. Jesus. How is that even real? Boop. 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 That's the hand. That's the hand. Did you just boop him multiple times? Oh, yeah. He's so booped. I don't think Ugin's too slow because it definitely shuts down their entire deck. And by shut down, I mean, you know, it kills all their things. You know what I'm saying. No idea. How many boops did you just do? I think three. It's like three a good boops. amount. We are running the 41 card special, but we also have 17 lands and uh, like three one mana mana dorks. Mana, mana. Mana, mana. Don't kill my mana dork. Watch them kill my mana dork. Here we go. They're going to lightning helix it. Because they have no soul. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, it never fails. It never gets any easier. Well, we get to... If they play, like, land spell, we get... Okay, well... <laughs> Who? Actually, if they don't play anything here and we draw land, we can just get their hand, which is pretty good when they only have Falconrath Gorger on board. Okay, well, now we can still get their whole hand. I did not... Yep, didn't want to land that. And I didn't actually want the land now. I wish we had Sol Ring. We can actually tutor for Sol Ring. And then still mind twist for. We could tutor for a mana vault. Oh, you took I out. boarded that out because it was yeah. aggressive. Char, Blade Splicer, Gideon. Seems good. I guess we take four here. I think we're still dead. We use tutor for like Worm Coil. We'll right, but we take eight damage before we're able to even activate it. So we get where we'd be at six. <clears throat> well, they did play a land though. Um I did not let's play this guy. What do we got here? Abrupt Decay actually say Bone Shredder could no, we're not gonna be able to play either of those things. No black man. <clears throat> um Sower actually just dies. Charlotte's Agent could be very good here, actually. Or we could just play Thragtus next turn. Yeah, Thragtus is pretty good. Charlotte's is probably going to kill one of these. What can Charlotte's hit? Baleful Strix, Arbor Elf, Abrupt Decay. Felix. Yeah, I think all of the targets for... I think it's actually Charlotte's here. Yeah, that's pretty good. So 
now if they want to like a grim 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 lava mancer or grim lava mancer, that's fine. Because then uh Imagine they're just gonna go face though. Oh, you just killed the two two, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we draw land and they don't kill our noble hierarch, it's actually great. Watched your Iconic Masters video with Mike and Rob with the crazy mill deck and the wool sloth. Laughed so hard my wife kicked me out of the room. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's probably the best compliment ever, right? Give me a land. So I can just Eugene one time in this draft. That's not what we're looking for. Not at all. It's not good. So we're just going to play opposition and they're just going to kill Noble Hierarch in response, right? Probably. I'm almost afraid to even do that. I mean, they're probably going to kill it either way. So. But they would have. They would have killed it last turn. They wouldn't have given me access to the mana. So their plan is not to kill it. Like, if you plan to kill this, you don't give me access to mana and then kill it. I think it's still this. Oh, God. It feels really bad. Oh, they did not. All right. I'm still alive here. I guess it doesn't matter if they kill it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, I guess it doesn't matter if they kill it in response or if they kill it before the end of the turn, so. However, they can't Grim Lava Mancer again, so uh, we can cast anything in our deck short of... No, I guess we can cast anything. Yep. Yeah, there you go. I'm like, you got to attack with... Uh... Yeah, Cascade's not going to trigger off of the Recurring Nightmare, unfortunately. And if we played Recurring Nightmare, they would probably just... <laughs> Come on, really? Yeah. Actual dead. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Oh, wonderful. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.